With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, a wooden ball of density D is immersed in water of density D to a depth h by 2 below the surface of water and then released. To what height will the ball jump out of water? So here we can say this is the surface of water. Now there is a wooden ball. Let's say spherical in shape. Now we can see here the forces acting on this is weight downwards. Next we can see here the buoyancy force acting upwards. Now it will jump out of the water means acceleration will be in the upward direction and pseudo force will be in the downward direction. So we can see here this acceleration is upward direction mass is m hence we can say here weight will be equal to mg and we can say here pseudo force ma acting downward and we have here buoyancy force acting upward given by the formula density of liquid into your volumes immersed into we can say here as g since it is completely immersed so we can see here volume will be equal to let's say d and here it says depth is given here as h by 2 so it is at a depth of let's say h by 2 so we can see here that initial velocity is 0 so balancing the forces we have here as mg plus we can say as ma will be equal to we have here as density of liquid into v into g hence this ma coming out here as rho l v into g minus we have here as m into g so dividing by let's say mass we have here as let's say rho l into v divided by we can say as m minus 1 into we can say this comes out as let's say into g now we can see this let's say here is equal to density of solid into v into g hence value of we can say here m comes out to be our let's say rho s into we can say as v substituting the value of m here as rho s into v so this comes as rho l into v divided by we have here as rho s into v minus 1 into g now v and v here cancels out as this acceleration comes out here as rho l by rho s minus 1 into we can say here as g now density of the liquid is given as let's say small d and density of the sphere is given as capital D so this here is our small d this here is our capital D minus 1 into g this is the acceleration now here coming towards let's say surface of water it accelerates with a velocity v and here at the topmost point we can say here deceleration will occur as gravity acts downward in this situation so we can say at the highest point its velocity will be zero so we need to find the highest height let's say it jumps out of the water which we can say as h this point is suppose a this point is suppose b and this point is suppose c so from a to b we can see here this motion can be analyzed as let's say we have here as v square equal to we can say as u square plus 2 a s so substituting the value of acceleration we have here v as let's say root under initial velocity is 0 acceleration we have calculated as let's say g into we have here as d by d minus of 1 and here a to b distance is its depth which is h by 2 so 2 and 2 cancels out hence v is equal to we have here as square root of this here is our g into h into we can say as d by d minus of 1 now analyzing the motion from let's say here b to c we can see here at highest point we have here velocity as 0 and this maximum height it jumps out of the water is capital H so we can say v square equal to u square plus 2 a s at the highest point velocity is 0 initial velocity which we have calculated at the surface so squaring this comes as g into h into we can say as dy d minus of 1 
plus 2 into acceleration is minus of g and here maximum height is h. So here on calculation this comes out as h by 2 into we have here as d by d minus of 1 which is the maximum height. Hence amongst the four option we can see here option number 2 as h by 2 into d by d minus 1 is the correct answer. Hence 2 is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.